And uh, to be a little more specific, if we were on a scale from 0 to 10, where 0 is you're 100% against, 10 is 100% in favor of including them in the non-discrimination laws, and 5 is somewhere in the middle, and then you have your whole scale there. Where do you think you'd put yourself? Mm -hmm. 6. 6. Okay. What would be a reason you would vote for it, and what would be a reason you wouldn't vote for it? What would be the reason I would is because I'm not judgmental. It's sure. Everybody has their own preference. Sure. There's no reason why I wouldn't vote for it, but I wouldn't want that around children. Mm -hmm. People could pretend to be and go after our kids. I mean, mm -hmm. that's something big to think about, and that probably would change a lot of people's minds. Do you know someone who yes, is transgender? I, I have someone in my family. So is transgender? Mm -hmm. um, cool. How are you? How are you related to them? It's my nephew. Well, Your nephew. Or niece, niece. Niece. Whatever. Niece. Okay. Okay. So she. Um, he was born a boy, and, uh, but he wants to be a girl. Okay. Has how much has she talked to you about that at all? Um, actually, that's funny because um, he felt like uh, I'm not quite comfortable with it, so mm -hmm. he stopped talking to me because seeing him. He wants to wait. I mean, with the hair and the lipstick, and it's hard when you, sure. when you, when I raised him when he was a baby, he was a boy. I mean, it was, but he felt like I don't accept it. Right. Do you know why um, they feel that way? I don't. Right. That's something I want. I would want to know because, right. like I said, I don't try to judge anybody. Their preference is their preference. Uh, so your your niece, what was, or what name is she asking you? That's another thing. His name was, his name, and the name that he's going by is. I, I have a, a friend um, who was in kind of a similar situation, I suppose. So this is my friend um, on the left. Um, okay. One of my best friends. Great guy, great guy. And he, um, he is transgender, so he was born a girl. He was raised as a girl. And, you know, I think what's really important about that it really, like, it wasn't his body that mattered so much, it didn't really matter what body looks like, he's still definitely a boy, but he really wanted his body to reflect that and to feel very real to him. And he got his chest flattened. And um, he was really excited about it. He took a bunch of selfies of himself you know, with his flattened chest. He, he sent a picture back to one of his best friends from high school and she said, like, she just wasn't expecting it. And I, I think it really caught her off guard and she said, oh, what? That's, that's really weird. And he had been so excited about that surgery and that it really hurt him, I think, to hear his friend react that way. Wow. Um, Maybe that's the way I kind of reacted towards him without saying it, but the way I guess I was acting. As mm -hmm. if, it's like, don't come around me. That's really weird. I, I couldn't, honestly, I mean, no one Now you make me feel bad because... No, 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 I'm, I'm definitely not trying to... I mean... I think it's really complicated. I didn't even think about it like that. Like, if I was in his position, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to, mm -hmm. you know. I never thought about it that way. Um, I'm wondering, if, is there a time that you ever kind of felt like you were on the receiving end of that? Like, when you ever felt different? Mm, not really. I mean, mine's is so, totally something else. But. No, I mean, that's totally fine. I mean, I think we can all relate to that feeling of, of being judged. Oh, and so yeah. that's really relevant. Yeah, all the time. What, what's yeah. like maybe a specific time? Mm, maybe a couple years ago. When I first moved out to LA, mm -hmm. just got a lot of bad vibes here and there and sure. there and there. It totally make you feel like you're alone or yeah. You what what were some of the things that happened? Um. Well, with this workplace that I work at, I don't really want to go into details about <laughs> that. But because I'm from somewhere else, some of the girls I feel like were like like didn't like me or knick knack mm -hmm. picked at me or said things like I should go back where I was at. Yeah. So a lot of that made me feel different. I'm really sorry to hear about that. I mean, that must have been really... Oh, yeah. You're just trying to start a new job? Yeah. <laughs> it was hard, especially when you have kids and, you know, you're mm -hmm. working to provide, to be a provider, and you're going through all that. So a lot of things were going to my mind at that time. You know, I need the money, I need this, so I stay long, I stay longer. And suffered some of them things, but they got, they didn't get better, it got worse. I definitely remember like being, being at school and like I, I just, I started a, I'm gay. And it was really, that was, that was an important thing for me. 
Um, and I was the only one at my high school who was. So I started a gay straight alliance just because I kind of wanted to see what more was happening there. But at the end of the year, I I won like a, a senior award. It was my senior year of high school, and I got an award for it. And afterwards, when I won it, and I was leaving the gym, a group of guys came up to me and said like. You don't deserve that award. Like you're a fag, and like you only got that because you're gay, and because you started this club, and the administration feels like they had to like do this for Aww. you. And so that you know, and it's all kind of that same feeling of like they see you and you're different, and like so that's how I felt, and that's how I felt when they when they told me about that. And it sounds like you felt that way, and it sounds maybe like that way. So that's why it's really important to me that something like this law is on the books so that people. D- d- doesn't have to go to work and feel like they're going to be fired because everyone's looking at them differently or mm. something like that. That's true. I think that was one of the cases too. He used to go to work as a boy and I mm-hmm. guess he posted Facebook pages of him at work with, wig, with, his, with his hair and, and he got, I think he got fired for that. Yeah. And that's, so that's actually exactly what this law so that's, is is doing actually is, is okay okay that's that makes a lot more sense <laughs> yeah right wow okay. wow i mean i remember at the beginning you did mention they were talking about the bathrooms and about women and children not being safe in bathrooms did you was there something you wanted to talk well no that's mm-hmm. just just like one of yeah. my fears like right like i don't judge but that would be like the one thing that i would think okay well no that's not okay and but I think, think that would yeah. be scary, you know. You know, it's and that way it's almost like comparing apples and oranges. Like, sex offenders are like a completely different set of people from like. Or, right. So I mean, let's say so. Before I met, I would like go to the bathroom and go in, do my business, wash my hands, and leave. After I met, we would go into the bathroom together. And same thing. We'd just both go in and do our business and wash our hands and leave. Like it didn't change right. anything come into the bathroom with me and that's that's kind of what we're dealing with here okay. not the yeah I don't see no problem mm-hmm. with that I mean you mm-hmm. should be able to I guess that's what probably what my nephew is going to do right, he should be I'm able sure. to yeah yeah I never really thought about all that like that you know mm-hmm. but that makes sense so that could then bring you back to this to this rating skill one last time or Zero is you would not 100% vote against including transgender people in non-discrimination laws, and 10 is you would 100% vote in favor of it, and then everywhere in the middle on a scale. I would totally vote in favor of it. Totally vote in favor? Yeah. Like a 10? Yes. All right. I mean, because it's, it's, oh, it's only right. I mean, let a person be who they are. No? Right. Just hiding it is worse, so let them out. Absolutely. I, I believe that. Like... Everybody should have the right to be who they who they want to be.